Hey guys, welcome. This is a quick video on how to reassemble your hand or your wireless or cordless um, Dyson vacuum. I think this is a V7 or V6 or something like that. Um, so uh, you you should clean this every now and then. Um, first thing is you should put the filter back after you rinse it. I actually use soap and a whole bunch of detergent and everything to make sure that it's clean. I took it apart because there was lint and hair stuff that's stuck in there. You should do the same too. Don't just rinse it with the with it together. There's a tab there. You just have to put it together. That's it. People don't even know that this comes apart. Pop it in. And then um, the next part is this uh, filter or barrier. There's a I usually start with the square part right there, the square end, so I know that it's facing this this way. And then there will be small little tabs that you're supposed to match it. It's pretty easy. It can be a little bit cumbersome at first to fit it in. I'm trying to do this hand one-handed here. So once you get that started, you just have to push in all the remaining pad. See the left side is snapped in, and then you go to the right side, and you just snap the other side. Done. And then lastly is this uh, something like a, a washer or something to make sure that it's sealed um, at the bottom of this uh, container. So there's a certain way that you have to to line it up first. And then I usually start with this middle center area. And then I go around the O-ring or what, look, what it looks like the O-ring of the bottom of it. You just simply push it in. There's supposed to be like a, 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 like a slot that you're supposed to push in there. Just go along and uh, make sure that it's all in the in the groove the only reason that I removed this o-ring is because the middle the middle part the middle round circle part inside the middle part there was a whole bunch of dust in there too so I removed that too pretty easy to take it off and put it back in place And then lastly, you just have to reattach the, the drum back onto its uh, mechanical body. This part is really difficult. There's a, supposed to be a tab there that you're supposed to push in. I'm sure you know how to do this. And then that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>